we're all excited about OB12C. However, most of us most of us have existing environment either on OB11G or OB10G. In this video, I will take you through the process of migrating OB11G to OB12C. You can only migrate from existing OB11.1.7 and higher to OB12C. So if you have a 10G environment or a prior environment to 11.1.1.7, you have to migrate to 11.1.1.7 and then migrate to 12C. As you can see, this is my 12C environment. I have a running out of the box installation of OB12C. This is the sample data. And the, <clears throat> and the objective is to migrate existing 12C, uh, sorry, existing 11G to this 12C environment. This is my 12C environment. Now I'll go to my 11G environment. As you can see here, I'm running uh, OB 11.1.1.9. So I'm good to go in the migration process. I have a working environment. As you can see, I have a dashboard with many pages. And the aim is to migrate this into the 12C environment. The migration process is a two-way process. What we have to do first is we have to uh, export existing 11G and then import it into 12C. The exercise is very simple and straightforward. Um, <clears throat> what we have to do is that we have to go to the 12C environment and we have to copy a migration uh, jar script into 11C, run the export utility there take the output file from 11G and bring it into 12C and then do the, uh, the import. So let's start the exercise. Just a quick note, this is my existing environment. My 11G home is located in C Oracle slash OB slash Oracle BI. My 11G domain is on this location. Of course, you have to have this information at hand to be able to proceed with the migration. On 12C, I'm running 12.2.1.0.0. My 11, my 12C home is at this location. My 12C domain is at this location. And my service instance name is SSI. This is the default installation by uh, OBI 12C. Okay, so like we agreed, all we have to do is that we have to copy the migration tool from 12C into 11C. And this file is located under um, Oracle Home. <clears throat> so we go to Oracle, Oracle Home, BI, Migration Tools, JLib, and then copy this file into 11G. So I'll go through this process right now. So I'll copy it. I'll go to my 11G environment. I'll create a migration directory. And paste it here. Now I have to run this simple command to do the migration. I'll simply copy and paste this command into the 11G environment. This is my 11G. I'll open a command prompt and I'll go to migration directory I'll paste the script as you can see I'm running Java as a jar this is the migration tool it's very important that I specify out on the 11g environment this is my 11g home and this is my 11g domain and this is where the uh, output file will be placed in the migration directory we've just created. Great, so I got migration action succeeded, which means the, mig uh, the out migration was successful. This is the file it has created. It's called bi11g. Now all I have to do is uh, copy this file into my 12C environment and proceed in the uh, import process on 12C. So I'll copy this. I 
I'll go my 12 to my 12C environment. I'll create a directory under C, it's called migration. And I'll paste the file here. Once I have the, the file in the migration directory, all I have to do is to run the import script on 12C. And the way to do that is as simple as running this command line. Importing into 12C, right? Remember, this is my environment on 12C. I have uh, BI 12C home located at C Oracle slash middleware. My 12C domain is located at slash Oracle slash middleware slash user underscore project slash domains slash BI. And my service instance name is SSI. So it's as simple as copying this line and paste it into command prompt. I'll go to C migration. Oops, sorry. Let me clear my screen. I'll just cross check the path to make sure I'm on the right path. This is the location of the PI migration tool, as we said earlier. It's located under uh, PI home slash PI slash migration tool slash JLib. And this is the migration tool. This is my Oracle home. It's located in Oracle middleware. And this is my domain slash Oracle slash middleware slash user project slash domain slash PI. And this is the location of the exported file that we have exported from 11G. And this is my service, my service name. So I'll simply run the script. I should get by the end of the script migration action succeeded. If I did that, that means um, I have successfully migrated 11G to 12C. At this point, it's requesting the RPD password. So I supply it the password and proceed. Now it's performing the import. This process will import my RPD and my catalog from 11G to 12C. migration action succeeded which means <clears throat> it has migrated successfully to 12c now all we have to do is verify that my 12c environment is up and running with 11g uh, assets now at this stage i like to start restart the server as a lot of things has gone with the server just to ensure that everything is working correctly I start the server. So what I have to do now is start the environment. Okay, as you see that now that the environment is up and running, let's open OB and check the migration. We'll log in as web logic. Looking good, I can see the pages of my legacy BI. If I go to my legacies 
and this is 12.2.1.0.0. So I think the migration was successful. I can see the various queries and graphs and dashboards. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please push the thumbs up uh, buttons. It will help me and encourage me to do more videos. Thank you.